What is SideQuest? Everything you need to know and why it's important for standalone Quest users. Welcome Sapiens, thanks for tuning back in. In this video, you'll join me as we deep dive into the world of SideQuest. If you've just got a Quest, you might not know that there are many more places than just the official Oculus Store to find VR games. For veteran Quest users, SideQuest is a big deal. It's a super helpful tool for both newbies and experienced players to find and enjoy more games for their headset. So, what is SideQuest exactly? Well, in a nutshell, SideQuest is a place where you can find lots of cool VR games and experiences for headsets like Quest 2, Quest Pro and of course the Quest 3. It's not just for the games you see on the official Oculus Store, but also for some experimental ones and new ideas made by developers. People really like SideQuest because it's a place where developers can try new things and users can find unique games that might not be available elsewhere. Some really popular VR games like Gorilla Tag, Pavlov, Puzzling Places, Ancient Dungeons, Gun Raiders, Quest 3, Doom and Quest Craft actually started on SideQuest and have been downloaded by millions of people in the VR community. SideQuest also has hidden features and tools that let you change and improve how your VR games look and feel. You can adjust things like the graphics, recording videos and other settings to make your VR experience that much better. I'll be doing some more videos soon for guides on these too, so hit that sub button so as not to miss out on future content. Also if you want to get SideQuest, I have a guide that shows you how to download and install it step by step, but before using it you'll need to become a developer. You can find a video guide on both these in the description below. Moving on. Is SideQuest safe to use? See, I've been asked this a lot lately, and simply put, yes it is. It's very safe to use. SideQuest carefully checks all the stuff that goes up on its platform to keep users safe from bad software. It's trusted by lots of developers and millions of people, and it's been buddies with Oculus for a long, long time. Did you know that SideQuest started just two days after the Oculus Quest came out in May 2019? Since then it's become a big part of the VR community and more than 2 million people check out SideQuest every single month to find new VR content, try out experimental games and help developers test their games. Aside from being close to the VR community, SideQuest works closely with Meta. Mark Zuckerberg said during Connect 2021 that they'll keep supporting ways to connect the Quest to computers so users and developers have more choices. Also in 2021, SideQuest teamed up with Meta while they were making AppLab. Now, AppLab helps people get experimental VR apps that aren't on the official store yet. Meta's director of content ecosystem, Chris Pruitt, talked about the partnership with SideQuest when AppLab started. He said SideQuest is really important for finding AppLab games since you can't see them on the official store yet. AppLab might not even exist without SideQuest. Even though SideQuest is known for early and experimental games, some VR apps from SideQuest got so popular that they made it to the official Oculus Store. Games like Puzzling Places, Gun Raiders, Ancient Dungeons, Hyper Dash, Desium, one of my favourites, Warplanes and many many more started on SideQuest. The SideQuest community, you, always help these developers improve their apps and that support makes a big difference. It's because of the SideQuest community that helps developers and lets users be the first to try new and cool stuff. SideQuest features Side loading content SideQuest is a tool that helps you easily add extra stuff to your Oculus Quest. When we say side loading, we mean getting things onto your device from places that aren't officially approved by the company that makes it. For the Quest, it's about adding things that aren't checked by Oculus and aren't on their store. AppLab is a new way to put unapproved stuff on your Quest, but it doesn't have everything. Some things still need the old way of using SideQuest, which takes longer and needs you to sign up as a developer. With SideQuest, you connect your headset to your computer using a cable to add the extra stuff. Adjusting headset settings. SideQuest lets you adjust hidden settings on your Quest, like video quality and text size. To access these settings, you need to be registered as a developer and have your Quest in developer mode. Once set up, connect your Quest to your computer, open SideQuest and click on device settings and tools at the top right. The settings you can change are mostly easy to understand. They cover things like fixing visual issues, adjusting the safety boundary, setting the quality of video recordings, improving graphics and much more. But do remember, these settings are more for advanced users who know what they're doing. 
Beginners might not need or even understand these options. Changing them might affect your quest experience, so proceed carefully. Managing apps, files and backups. SideQuest helps you organize the stuff inside your headset like apps and files. It lets you make copies of your apps and files, so if you reset your device or change headsets, you can get back all your progress. You can handle your headset's files by going to the files menu at the top right of the folder icon. From there, you can move files to and from your device. For instance, the videos you record on the Quest are stored in the Oculus tab, then video shots folder. If you click on currently installed apps in SideQuest's top right corner, you'll see a list of everything on your Quest. You can back up and restore game data for each app separately or all at once from here. Run ADB commands. For very advanced users, this function allows you to execute ADB commands directly from your Quest. If you're not familiar with ADB, it stands for Android Debug Bridge. We used to do it a lot with mobile phones back in the day. And if you are familiar and want to use its commands for various tasks or modifications on your Quest, you can access this feature by locating the ADB button on the right side of the SideQuest toolbar. As I said, in a nutshell, that should cover everything that you need to know about SideQuest. If you get stuck somewhere, drop us a question in the comments. I'll do my best to help fix and guide you through it. For more guides like this, be sure to support the channel with a sub and a like. A simple action from you makes a world of difference to me. I've been VR Sapien. Thanks for watching.